Hi, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering, and I'm going to show you how to install a post when we email one to you. So Eric sent me this post here this morning here for Amazac, and I'm going to install it in my system so that you can see how to do it yourself. So first thing you do, you have the email, the attachment, and I'm just going to unzip the uh, unzip the document so I have it here ready to go. And there'll be four files in that zip folder. I have a control file, a milling machine f definition here, an MMD. If it's a lathe, it'll be a LMD or a RMD for a router or a WMD for wire. Talks about that here in the email that he sends with the post. And we also have at least a post file, but some posts have this PSB file. A lot of times if you get a post, a five actors post, it's locked to your hasp and that's that PSB files for that's to lock it to your hasp so let's talk about what I want to do with these files here so it says here where to put them so put the PST and the PSB file here I have mill posts so I'm gonna put it in the mill post folder if I had a router post or a lathe post or a wire post I'd put it in the proper folder so let's do that first so I'm just gonna to navigate to that place I'm gonna to go to C users And I'm going to go here to Public, Documents, MCAM X7, because this is an X7 post. And I'm going to go here to Mill, and then Posts. And in the Post folder, I need to put the, obviously, the PST, which stands for Post, in the PSB file, which is what locks the post. That's the encrypted part of the post. So I'm going to grab those, and I'm just going to copy them right into that folder. Now I have this control and MMD milling machine definition is what that stands for. And LMD stands for lathe definition or wire machine definition or router machine definition. So what I'm going to do here is again it's in my shared MCAMX file in CNC machine. So that's going to be in C users public document shared CNC machines. And I'm just going to grab these two files and I'm just going to copy them in here. And there they are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my Mastercam X7, which I no longer have on my screen here. So X7 is opening up. And here we go. I'm going to go here to my machine. I'm going to go up here to machine type. Mill, and you notice it's not in that list there. What I need to do is go to manage list. And that post, that Mazak post, will be in my list of machine tools. I just have to hit add to add it to that list. And the reason they do that is if you didn't have this, so here we go, it's right here. So if I didn't have this, I'd have a list of, say, 20, 30 machines in here get a little cumbersome. So you only have in the list here what you've told to have in the list here. So if I wasn't going to use any of those Hercos, I can remove them and just add that Mazak to machine type here. So I can go machine type mill, hit the Mazak, and there's my, my new machine. So that's what you have to do to install a machine in Mastercam. Obviously if this was in Mastercam X8 or an early, earlier version you'd be going to your um, you'd be just navigating to that folder so it would be C users documents or public sorry documents and it'd be in your MCAM8 folder rather than your MCAM7 folder. So that's just how that works. Really easy to do. If you have any questions feel free to give us a call 860-749-5544. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.